Action. Hey guys and gals, thanks for coming back to another episode of SR Auto Group's YouTube channel. Uh, we've been away for a couple weeks, so we got a bunch of old clips that we're going to put together for you and show you what we've done over the last few weeks. Uh, we did a couple uh, sets of downpipes that sound really cool. We did a Urus and an RSQ8. Uh, our RS6 is back with the Mansory body kit. We're going to show you what that looks like prior to the wheels and lowering it and what have you. Uh, we did a Cullinan at one point. Uh, we did a, a wrap and uh, lowering. Uh, a whole bunch of little stuff here and there we're going to show you that we did in the last couple of weeks before we move forward onto our next video uh, with one of the hyper cars. So I hope you enjoy this video guys. Let's go take a look. Uh, we're going back to the shop. Martin is getting ready to work on a 996 that I have been working to get forever. This has a GT700 kit. It was in really, really rough shape, but we're getting it back to new. This thing needs a new accumulator. It had a bunch of dings on the body. Uh, badges were missing. It had some of this rough uh, parts on it, so it had this rough bumper. It had that rough uh, rear spoiler. It does have rough wheels on it, if you look at it. They're really nice, but they're just not my thing. Uh, needs brakes, needs a lot of work, but it had low mileage and it had this GT700 crit that I really, really like. This thing flies. So we're going to be working on that today. We're going to be showing you um, uh, how to do the brakes and how to change the clutch accumulator and a bunch of little stuff. So Martin's going to be working on that. Plus, I'm going to reveal uh, part two of our RS6 with the Mansory kit. So I'm going to show you what the kit looks like on the car. And then Martin's going to be on the phone over there during work hours because I guess that's what we do over here. Then we come back here. We got Kevin's Civic Type R. It's a full Mugen Type R. This thing's awesome. Uh, it's just sitting back here in the back. It's my Urus. It's for sale. If anybody wants a nice Urus, there it is. And then we got the guys over there in our warehouse. If you guys don't know how I started, there's Ed right there standing there. Doing all nothing. Doing nothing. Nothing at all. But th this is how we started. Parts. Car parts. All car parts. There's Kevin. A lot of car parts. A lot of car parts. Tires. More tires. Look at that more tires but check this out guys we're gonna walk in parts 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 look at all these wheels wheels if you can imagine it we have it i have wheels for every car eight look at that 812 that's a portofino i think maybe uh what do we got rs7 we got Touareg. that's a c63s uh back there that's a mybach we got everything guys so if anybody needs any parts this is how we started with that 964 s65 we got rega masters we got ssrs we got aston martin vantage another set of portofinos m5s we have it all so guys if you have any questions or whatever at the end of the video please uh comment below or send a message if you need or if you're looking for any specific parts if not let's get back to the video kevin what do you think sure let's do it okay here we go Okay, Martin, got the first wheel off. Let's look underneath and see what's happening. I know not a lot of people love the 996, but it's one of my favorite things ever. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh God, these brakes, oh, you can see they're all cracked. So this thing's been tracked pretty well its whole life. You can tell, I don't know what kind of brake pads those are, but they are uh, aftermarket brake pads. And look how hot these calipers have gotten that even the clear coat is faded so those are gonna have to be refinished uh and oh look we have a roof spacer right there that's, that's and oh it's a stun conversion i didn't even notice that that is crazy okay and what do we have we have all oh, those look like pss 10s bilstein pss 10s what are the sway bars there the sway oh we got drop links over here those are aftermarket drop links what we got on the next OEM? And we have an OEM sway bar underneath here. So, okay, Martin, what are we doing? Let's redo this. All the brakes off. We'll send the calipers out to paint. Uh, we'll adjust the height on the springs. And then let's see what's happening in the back here. The back you've already taken off. So again, the PSS 10s, you can see the silicone boost hoses for the GT700 kit. Uh, we have a roof uh, sway bar in the back here, which I'll probably take off. Uh, again, Bilstein PSS 10s, these are probably the go-to for old 996 guys. 
Uh, again, faded calipers. Uh, rear brakes are okay, but I'm gonna replace them anyway. Uh, and then we're probably gonna rip off this uh, roof spacer uh, and probably sell it with the wheels. Uh, what else we have to do? We gotta change an accumulator. Martin, uh, tell me what an... <laughs> oh, apparently we need a fender liner as well. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. So we'll replace that fender liner. Um, Martin, can you tell me what the accumulator does? It holds the pressure when you turn it off. Uh, in Where the clutch? It? It? Uh, the clutch pedal? In the clutch pedal. So show me what the... Just this ball. The screw is in on the slave cylinder. So it's a ball that holds pressure. It screws in on the slave cylinder, the clutch slave cylinder. Uh, so it makes your pedal what? More manageable or softer? No, or? softer, softer. So it makes a softer pedal. So when I was driving this car, guys, uh, the pedal was a little bit wishy-washy. So we're gonna change the accumulator because apparently that's what happens with these cars. So uh, we'll get back to Martin shortly and see what he does. Guys, this is actually quite cool because uh, we have a stud conversion here, so uh, usually there's a bolt that goes in there. Uh, Martin's pulling out the stud because we're not going to need that anymore. We're just going to go back to factory uh, um, uh, bolts that hold in the wheels. So, But it's really neat how you can do a conversion like this. Come on, Martin. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. No, it's loose already. It doesn't come out. So you broke it. So you stripped it. There's no thread anymore. So you broke it. These are off a GT2 or a GT3. So they have the big six piston calipers. You can tell by the giant size. So they're a little bit worse for wear. Uh, we're gonna have these things blasted and recoated. I don't exactly know what color. If you have any ideas, comment below. I was thinking like a Grigio Telesto or a gray, grayish color to go with the black. I like red and yellow, but I think they've been outdone. Uh, give me a comment below and tell me what you guys think. But these are the fronts. And these are the rears, as you can see, they're the regular four pistons. And all these little guys are just the brake shims that we haven't pulled out yet, but these are gonna go to the garbage. We're gonna get new ones, new pads. These are gonna be refinished. You're gonna love the end product. It's gonna look really good. So, as I was saying uh, in the previous clip, I got new tires for the new OEM, uh, well, not the new OEM, the hollow spoke OEM wheels, which I'm getting refinished to the hyper silver color. Uh, 285 30s uh, in the back, and we have here the 245 35s in the front. They're Michelin Super Sports. I really, really like Michelins, uh, although Pirelli's are right up there with them, but I like staying with uh, uh, the French tire for some odd reason. Uh, I've just liked it since I was young. It's just what I do. So I have these going on the car. Uh, and then, like I said, at the very end, I'm gonna show you a complete package of it uh, done and you're gonna love this car as much as I do. So here we have the OE Cat beside the Novatec uh, downpipe. You can just tell by how large but restrictive this is that how much of a difference the Novatec one's gonna make. Look at it, nothing in there. Got your O2 bung on both of them. Uh, this is gonna actually be a really, really nice one. Uh, Martin has one installed. So if you look at it, so this is where the engine cover goes. That's the engine cover. This is where the engine cover goes, but underneath it, you see the two downpipes. So Martin has this one installed. You can see it in there. Let's see, the Velotech all there. So the second one comes right here, and then it goes down to that second mid pipe way down there. It's really neat. Martin, let's do this. Install the second one. So it's fairly easy to 
get in there after you take all the, after the big ones all the big stuff out. Are those studs on the dump? Yeah, they are. And that's that. He locks that up, puts a couple O2s back in, bolts the six nuts down there, and these two clamps up here, and well, here it go. We're starting this thing up. Novatech downpipes, Eurus. Here we go. Okay guys, before I show you the, the final body kit, I gotta put the Mansory emblems on. So there's a couple, there's this one piece one here and then I have this one that's kind of a stencil uh, style. So they go in a couple places. This one goes on the side skirt, so I'll put that on while you guys wash with me. Use your teeth, cause that's really smart. Do it again, cause that's really smart. And then we put it on. So here we go. Here, make sure this is nice and clean, which it is. Multiple. And there we go. So we got the last Mansory emblem there. And it's that simple. Okay guys, so here it is. The RS6 we've been waiting for, chassis C8. Mansory body kit. It's not a wide body kit, but it's pretty much what everything else Mansory makes. So it's a carbon hood, full front bumper with canards and the side splitter, front lip with the extra splitter here. It has these accent pieces from Mansory as well. This thing is a really, really cool looking bumper. Um, it's a hit or miss, guys. You might like it, you might not like it. I think it looks really, really good on this car. Come to the side part. So along with the canards, you have the side fins, you have the side skirts. Um, our car came with the carbon uh, chrome co uh, uh, mirror covers. Uh, so we didn't have to order the Mansory ones, but this is my favorite car part. Check this out. So it has the rear spoiler and these extensions that go down the glass right here. And then if you look at the whole back bumper, it is aggressive. The Mansory tips are not for everybody, but it looks awesome. So you have uh, the rear uh, bumper, basically this uh, diffuser, the bottom diffuser. Uh, it comes here with the extra winglet and the side. Uh, I guess you could call this a diffuser as well. Mansory tips. So this isn't the Mansory exhaust. We've ordered the Acropovic exhaust for this car. Uh, it's not here yet because it hasn't been developed yet. So this car basically, uh, you can see the Mansory sign here too, by the way. Look how nice that looks. So basically this car is complete other than wheels, suspension, and the exhaust, and a couple interior options that we're gonna be adding later on. But this is what it looks like. It's really a really amazing looking car when you're up front and close with it. Um, this one has the ceramic brakes. The wheels are gonna knock it out of the park. Uh, but take a look at this uh, in the montage that's coming up right now. see there's a lot that's been done to this car I showed you all the carbon pieces so on and so forth so again we have a set of uh, 22 inch wheels coming we're gonna lower it we have the exhaust to do we have some uh, power upgrades coming for this thing 
this is gonna be a really, really crazy car. I just wanted to show you the progress so far. It's not going anywhere until all the parts come, so we'll be back to this video, uh, sorry, this car very soon in the future videos. So the last thing that we're not gonna be able to get to this video is we're gonna show you how to lower an Aventador S using the factory suspension. Martin's already, already taken it apart. We're gonna do that video in the next uh, week or so. Uh, we're gonna show you on the sock, stock uh, setup with the nose lift, how are you gonna lower the car. Martin's already started on it. If you wanna come here and take a look, guys. Uh, actually, Martin's behind the camera, so he's gonna show you. Um, he's got the tool ready on the uh, um, nut here. Uh, here's the Olin's um, nose lift system. Uh, it's gonna be neat. He's gonna pull out the shock and we're gonna raise, uh, lower it. We don't have much of a uh, travel difference here. Probably, I don't know, a quarter inch or, or so. What do you think, Martin, about? Uh, <clears throat> it says it's supposed to be like an inch. Uh, it doesn't look like an inch, but let's just say we're gonna get maybe an inch. So this car has the factory wheels with spacers. So even half an inch or an inch is gonna look really good. It's just gonna get rid of this uh, uh, gap here uh, for this car. And uh, he likes keeping this car stock other than a little bit of height adjustment. So we're gonna do that. We've done Novatech springs for these cars quite often, uh, but they really, really lower the car. And, and this guy does not want to be uh, that aggressive. So we're just gonna do the factory option. Uh, and we're gonna do a video about it for you guys next time. Where's the light? Okay guys, you may think I forgot about this Ferrari 16M prize, but I didn't. So the person who was gonna win this prize had to guess how many N Largos were made and how many kilometers was on our N Largo. Well, the answer was 18 made in total. Ours was the one of one in Canada and there was about 8,200 kilometers on the car. Now, about four of you guessed that answer, but one person guessed it correctly. Martin, come to the computer. I pulled it up over here. I did a search. So the winner of this Ferrari uh, 16M Spider book is the first guy who guessed it, Tejas Patel. Tejas, Tejas, I know I'm destroying your name, but he guessed 18 in Largo and 8,200 kilometers on the clock. Uh, Mr. Patel, you won this prize. Congratulations. I'm going to message you and we're going to get this out to you sooner rather than later. Ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. It was a mismatched video uh, today. I had a bunch of stuff from this week. We did the downpipes. We did the um, RS6. We looked at our 996. We're going to look at that Aventador. Uh, we did a whole bunch of stuff around the shop. So I put together all the videos that I had. It might not be fluid. It might not be perfect, but I wanted you guys to see what we did this week uh, and the week before that. Um, lastly, I'm going to ask you guys a question and if you guys can comment below, I may have an opportunity to sell the Bugatti Chiron and get what I really, really want, which is another Veyron. Now, you guys would wonder why I want to get rid of the Chiron to get the older car. I just have a soft spot in uh, my heart for this Veyron. Ever since I sold the Sang Noir, I really, really wanted to get another one. And because I got this, I didn't have the ability to. Now I have somebody who's interested in trading with me. So I'm wondering what I should do. Should I get another Veyron? Because I really, really like it soup it up, mess around with the DDE guys, or should I keep this parked Chiron Sport right here and not touch it? Comment below, and once again guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, comment, and like, uh, especially the guys that are just lurking around. Please subscribe, you'll help me out, you'll help everybody out, including Martin, who's right behind the camera, uh, to do more videos for you guys in the future. Again, thanks for watching guys, see you at the next video.